hello, hello there world. I'm going to be doing a voiceover on this video, so stay tuned on this fireplace revamp. So, what we have here are a couple pictures of how the house looked when I purchased it. And the first thing with tackling this fireplace, obviously, was cleaning the fireplace and getting the insert and everything out. And then breaking up the hearth, which was this red mosaic brick in super alien cement. It took me weeks. It took every tool known to man to get it out. My house was a dust disaster but it got done so what we now have once all of that is cleaned up is I just sand the mantle put a layer of primer I use sticks it's a really good primer um, on this case I really just needed one coat mainly just for adhesion purposes um, and I go in with the black and just do all the detail all the crevices then I actually take my time and do two or three layers of the actual paint. And I like seeing the brush strokes, especially on older homes, older pieces of furniture. But you could easily use a roller on something like this or even a spray. I just like to paint. I let it dry 24 hours in between coats. There it was drying. And then once that was all finished, I started on the tile. So I got my wet saw out uh, and just started cutting the basic tile for the brick surround of the actual fireplace box. Um, once I get all of that done and that's all kind of put into place, then I will work on the hearth. And also if you've never tiled before, it's really fun, super easy, it can be really messy it does take some time, but it's fun. So you should try it. Try it on like a side table or something. And I'm going to try to remember to put some links in the description of uh, some tile saws and things that I use when I, like sponges and bucket and stuff like that, that I just find really helpful when I tile. So. Once I have all the bases cut, I did all the measuring first, and you do some cuts a little bit towards the end for detail work, but you can measure easy and do all your cuts first. And then I take them over, um, I get the fin set put up on the brick, and then put the tile up. I do use spacers uh, with this sort of tile or even like penny tiles, things like that. Sometimes the spacing can get a little wonky, but luckily with this particular tile, you never really notice it. And on an older home, like this fireplace actually wasn't completely centered where the brick and the mantle was. A little bit of a nightmare but it ended up turning good in the end so while we're just watching me lay a little bit of tile around the surround uh, if you can go down and subscribe that'd be great um, like the video or dislike the video and put in the comments why uh, also if you hit that notification bell choose the see all because it seems like you don't get notified unless you put that and also let me know in the comments what type of other videos you would like to see coming up in the future I do have a lot more of my house flipping little projects type videos like this coming up 
and of course always more artwork coming up now that I've finally gotten settled in my new home I can start working on the channel again so here you kind of see me putting up spacers and then once that all dried like a day later I came in and started doing the grout super messy takes a long time especially when you use dark grout which I tend to always use dark grout does take a lot of time but it's worth it in the end so that's all this is just going back rinsing out using clean water just you keep just doing this until it's all clean and you'll see a little bit of the tile yeah like right there it's a little dusty and you'll see if you missed anything and have to go back and redo it. Once the whole surround is done, then I started on the hearth and I just added this really cool navy ceramic tile on the hearth after I labeled, labeled, leveled it all out and did some cleaning, added a new insert, or not a new insert, but I added, uh, we got new gas lines in put the old insert back in, a little fire screen in, and I had a whole new fireplace and it changed the entire mood of the house. Like the whole mood just changed and it was great. So something as easy as that, you can do at your house too. I hope you liked this video. Hope it was a little bit informative and you learned something and enjoyed watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.